Yo, what up guys? It's me, Zayo, and today I'm here with the latest White Schwartz booster box here. And of course, it's Fate, so I have to uh, open it and try and get the SP. It's not really accurate to say signed because they did remove uh, the signed cards from the set. And uh, it's only like a um, kind of like a stamp printing with like a quote and not really like signed by the art, uh, by the voice actor this time. That is the sad part, but it's still fate, and I still love fate, so um, hopefully I'll be able to pull some of those nice cards and uh, keep them for my collection. So uh, let's go. All right, so we do have the, um, the nice Sakura play mat here to match with our uh, opening main character of this uh movie series and uh, this route for fate stay night and so really hoping to pull the sakura sp nice we have our promo card here leave that for us and our packs 20 like usual with the uh chance of the sp and whatnot triple rare srs all the same so let's see what we can pull i think the ratio for this one is one and eight i think i'm not too sure don't really uh don't quote me on that one but uh just look at this nice really uh hope you guys know these characters you know, don't want to go too long just want to show off how the cards look in the foiling we have Kind of um that's weird it's very subtle none of it is on like the actual picture it's just on like the borders this time we usually usually they just do it all over the picture or just all over the card in general so that's uh, something different it's just on the borders and uh, the text box here but we got writer shiro archer harsh words rin execution of orders writer she who has accepted her shadow sakura and our sr is cloud concealed moon sakura look at that srs srs look really good honestly I really like how that has like the outlines on everything it makes the character pop out of the art it's just very nice the srs are nice i will give it that so are the triple rares so very good looking card very very good looking. let's keep it going here Ooh, commemorative photograph, lecture, Rin, jewel, defense, magic, Rin, continue, continuing rainfall, Sakura, smiling, smiling, sa uh, saber altar, <laughs> mixing up, getting tongue twisted here, and silver thread, alchemy, algin lead, Ilya, that means lied, it's always like lead, I don't know, these, all these different languages, they always gotta change up everything, you know what I'm saying? Indigenous Shinji, escaping Kire and Ilya, overflowing words Sakura, bluffing smile Rin, top mage caster, using all her strength Saber, and entrusted arm Shiro. See now this one has it all over the picture now. See this is this is just confusing. Weird how that that one doesn't have it on everything. I don't know. Maybe it's just the foiling is off or something. Seeing the same cards here. Oh, new one, Vigor, Berserker, Cold Attitude, Rin, and a Makiri's Grail Sakura. This card does come in the SP rarity, so I really wanna pull this one as an SP. The highest value and also just the best looking out of all of them. And the whole reason that you would ever like this route for Fate is because the main character Sakura, of course. What else is there? Also, it does it does actually switch up the story quite a bit compared to the other two, giving up a whole new uh, perspective on the story, at the very least. Because she's like, Sakura is not a part of the story like, at all in the other two routes, I think. I only watched Unlimited Blade Works. I didn't watch uh, the, uh, the first Stay Night version. Maybe she did more there, but she doesn't. She doesn't do like anything at all the, for the most part. Nice, enchanting smile, Sakura, roaring berserker, 
Blissful Days Rider, Jewel Sword Zellretch, and For Her Master Rider. The Excalibur Climax, nice. Alright, how far are we? We're like seven packs in. Um, I think when you do, I think you still can pull the sign wear. It's usually just paired with like an SR. So, so we still have a chance of getting our card. Nice, this is the uh, the playmat that we're looking at here. Awesome. Uh, that's, 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 the, that's the art for it, guys. But yeah, uh, the box can either have a SR, I believe, and and it has the it'll have the SP with it if the SP is in the the box that you're opening. And nice Spring Song Sakura, very nice. Getting all the Sakura cards, no complaints from me there, because that's exactly what I want. The icing on the cake would be the uh, the signed, I guess SP. Or the SCC. There is the SC. Oh, that's interesting. I thought I thought I was looking at like, the same card for a second there. And the SEC to go with it. I think the SEC is usually uh, rarer to pull than the SC. Usually it's like it might be in the case uh, or it might not be. But the SPs, you're always going to have like two in the, uh, in the case. I think the SEC probably replaces the SP. So it's like, you either get two SPs or one SP, one SEC. I think that's how that works. If if it's following the same um, the same trend as the other ones. Nice, trigger off Shiro. Well, it probably is following the same kind of rarity idea. Next we got Ilya, Ryder, more Ilya. Tiny Shadow People, pretty cool. And Ro Ayas. Ultimate Shield, am I, am I right? And Oath of the Sword Saber. I think this is the another card that comes in the SP slot too. Let's put it right here. Uh, it'll show up when we clear up these packs. About, we're over halfway through. Still got good chances here to pull what we want. And I think you still could pull the, um, like a triple rare with the SR. But you just wouldn't get the uh, SP at that point if you pull both of them, I believe. Nice. What lies beyond the resolution? The same here. Full picture of the basement. Purifying light. She who has accepted the shadow. And a blissful days. Sakura. Rediscovered kindness. Nice. Big change. Going from your magical purple hair to your white hair. Don't want to, you know, say anything to spoil, but definitely you should give this show a watch or not show. I guess it's a give this movie series a watch. It's a three part movie. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where you would find it. You probably find it somewhere, but three part movie. Uh, should definitely watch the original Unlimited Blade Works first. I guess that's not the original, but watch that one and then watch Heaven's Feel you'll be able to understand a little bit more what's going on. It's still kind of confusing because it's like shortened into only three movies as opposed to like a whole series. But that just means the animations for uh, this movie are just off the charts, like really, really good looking. A nice pristine beauty saber and impeding wall for a climax. All right, two more packs. Let's see if we can do it. Maybe we've got that last pack magic going here. Let's find out. Furious Gilgamesh. Requesting freedom. True assassin. Battle on top of a vehicle lancer. Enchanting smile. <laughs> that is pretty enchanting if you ask me. Towards his gaze lancer. And a battle with mages. Saber. And another impeding wall. Final pack guys. Let's see if we can pull it. If not, we still pulled some nice cards here. Not complaining. Very nice box. Definitely keeping one sealed for my collection. Got a lot of fate on my uh, on my lineup and uh, some slime. But let's see. What we got we have the SP Resolution to Fight Rin. Here it is, and as you can see, it's just printed words and um, and then the little mark. But it's not you know signed. You, you can definitely tell it's just not signed. It's just the quote and of course the name. Still awesome. 
It was last pack magic, guys. We did it. That was awesome. It wasn't Sakura, sadly, but Rin is still a favorite among the fans. Don't get that twisted. She has quite a fan base. They all do, but very nice. SP, we did it. We beat the odds yet again. I definitely, this, this is my first box opening, right? Don't get it wrong. I did not open like a million boxes and try recording each one. This is my first one and I got it. So, uh, I'm no, not trying to brag here, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh, that is nice. Definitely got to sleeve that up. Give me a second. All right. I'll just give it that simple, uh, perfect fit sleeve in case I want to put it anywhere. But look at that. That is awesome. Check it out. Back looks good, too. I don't see anything wrong with it. A nice resolution, resolution to fight Rin. All right, guys. Well, that's the opening. Let me know if you guys like the White Schwartz opening. I'm still doing it because, you know, I still uh, like opening it. Uh, but, I mean, I mainly put Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff on the channel. But let me know if you guys enjoy this, too. I uh, just like opening stuff. I'm gonna, definitely going to keep Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, though. Because, uh, you know, those are, like, my main two. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the box. And uh, if I should go for some more. If you think I should go, you know, Hudson Big, go Caseful. Nah, probably not going to do that. But let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys later. So, peace out.